Welcome to School of Civil Engineering. In this video, I am going to show you that how we draw circular beam and how we analyze them and design for that. And uh, in our previous video, I have shown you about different types of beam analysis. I mean RCC beam analysis, slab analysis, column analysis and de design of them and uh, also they have a basic to advanced level lecture so you can watch that if you think that that is really good for you so let's start. First of all, we'll open Stack Pro software. Then we'll go here, New Project, and uh, from here, a Space, and we'll give here Circular Beam, and here I will select Length Units and Force Kilonewton Pound Unit. So next and here I will use add beam then finish so from here I will click here I will remove that grid ok and after that I will go here geometry and from here we will go here run as a structure wizard geometry then run a structure wizard so from here we'll select frame model frame model so here and from here we'll select circular beam we'll select a circular beam so double click on it and from here what will be the radius of our circular beam suppose the radius will be 5 feet and total angle will be 360 degree because it will be 360 degree otherwise it will not will be circular and after that here is the important thing number of bay along periphery I mean which number of portion we want to select that which number of portion we want to select that here there have 18 periphery I mean uh, our circular will be the summation of 18 numbers of beam you can reduce that you can reduce it in 9 beam and if you see here the all beam angle will be 40 degree so we'll use 18 number of bay so apply then here is the circular beam so after that we'll click here close and here would you like to transfer or merge this prototype into a stack pro yes so from here it's showing the direction x y z what will be the value will take it as default 0 so here is our circular beam here is our circular beam so this is our circular beam and uh, for that beam we have to provide column suppose we'll provide four column you can provide more or less so for that I will go here notes I will select that notes and also that's not maybe 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 that is the 7 and that is the 9 I will consider that and that 
1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so here is the middle and from here I'll consider 1 2 3 4 there 1 2 3 4 so I'll consider that here is 3 and here is 4 and here I'll consider that here is 1 2 3 and here is 4 so that the loads are being equal for every one so you can I'm just uh, going that to tease you just nothing but so after that we'll copy and paste that in Y direction so we'll create foundation for that for that press ctrl plus C then ctrl plus V so here we'll take suppose a minus 6 feet along Y direction so our found column will be along Y direction so minus 6 feet means from that level to down level so press ok so here you are seeing that that is the data for our column now no we can add that manually so by pressing here add beam so from that point to that point and that point to that point that point to that point and that point to that point but they have another way suppose go geometry add beam sorry uh, connect beam along y axis connect beam along y axis so they have one two three four point and it will connect along no member is created it's sorry and uh, here geometry add beam here here connect beam connect beam along y axis showing sorry we have to select also that point uh, here first of all node cursor then select that point that point that point also that point and that point here maybe that point and here that point and here this is the point so after that we'll go here geometry connect beam along y axis they have four member are created press ok so this is the four member you can rotate that you can rotate that here that is the or circular beam after that we'll click here and we'll also select that four more nodes and from here we'll provide support so provide support and here create fix support and assign close that so they have for support and also with a circular beam so after that we'll define materials for that we have to go here property page and here define we'll put different rectangle and uh, suppose we'll consider FD on our one fit okay that one fit so one fit into one fit I mean 12 inch into 12 inch close that and select that and assign to view it will assign everywhere assign yes we can see that it is a assign everywhere and now if we go in 3d mode here we can see that there is our circular slab that is our circular sorry circular beam here is our circular beam so after that we have to define load from here load paste here click here load case details add 
primary dead load add close so from here add self weight y direction minus 1 add and member load 0 0.5 keep minus 0 0.5 keep add close so first of all self weight it will be assigned to everyone so assign to view assign yes it's assigned to everyone then we have to assign that in beam so to assign that in beam we have to select that beam we have to select all beam we have to select all beam like that Oh, here is a they have a low number of beam that's why we have selected like that way but when they have hues then you have to go ahead select then beam sorry go to her select then beams parallel to X parallel to X so it's have been selected sorry to go here Uh, sorry, uh, the wall beam are not along x or z direction, they have different type of direction. That's why we have to select that manually. Otherwise, we can click here and we can select that like that way. And if we go in 3D mode, we can see that we have different all of the beam. After that, we have to click here, then assign to selected beam, then assign yes. We have Ascend our load and by clicking here we can see load so here is our load after that we will analyze that so go comment analysis perform analysis ok analysis run analysis save so here 0 error 0 ring 0 node after that go to post processing mode ok and here if we scroll that first of all press control and scroll your scrolling button of your mouse so it's showing the deformation of the beam and after that close click here to close that if I share force according to FI here is the share force according to XA if I have the axial force and the axial force and here is the bending moment if we just hold the mouse we're seeing that here is the bending moment and the moment along z direction so here is the bending moment along z direction and uh, after that we can see the reaction this is the value of reaction we can move that this is the value of reaction and here is the circular beam here also the value fy fx fz and the respective moment so in that way we can analyze our model and in our next video i will show you that how will design that circular beam so still stay connected till next video and if you think that this video is helpful for you just press the like button so that i can understand that is really helpful for you thank you thank you